Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to replace this three-way switch with Leviton Sure Slide Dimmer Switch. I bought this two-pack, there were two in this box from Amazon, which was of course cheaper because I need to replace both of them. The model number for this switch is written here. It is 6674. Before installing these switches, I read all the instructions that came with the box. So as you can see, this switch controls the lights right here on my staircase. Turn it off and turn it on. This is always full light and I need to replace that with the dimmer switch so we can dim it when we need it. So I will now open this and see what's inside. Here's a little caution. If you have not removed this wall plate after you painted the walls, this might be stuck with the paint. To avoid damage to the paint, it's always good to use a knife and make a little step here. So this will come up like this. With this tester, which is a client tools, touchless voltage tester, we want to make sure that the power is here. It's not showing because it maybe it's too far away. Obviously power is there. So whatever I'm going to show you, if you are not sure about working with electricity, I would suggest that you hire a licensed electrician to do this job. Working with electricity can be dangerous and it can cause severe injury if not handled properly. So I will have to remove these two switches, take them out to see the internal wire. I'll be using this multi-bit screwdriver and change the bit so I can remove that. You can also use a crosshead for Philips screwdriver or even a flat screwdriver to remove this. Make sure you keep these screws safe. It's, sometimes it's difficult to find similar screws. So let me pull out one of these and see what is inside the box. So let's test power. So power is coming here and it is here as well. Because this is a three-way switch, I will try to turn it off and see what happens now. So this is the line. I leave it to here as is and can turn off the circuit breaker. I have turned off power from circuit breaker and let's check it again before we touch any of the wires. So not beeping, that means it is safe to work on these wires now. Remove the tape. In this simple three-way switch, the black screw here indicates the load of the line. And these two, the white one here and the black one here, they are travelers. One of them goes to the other three-way switch and one of them goes to the load. Before I do anything, I would like to take a picture of what is connected here. In case I make a mistake or in case the new dimmer switch doesn't work, I can install this black here. This is an old house, so the wires here are not copper, they are aluminum wires. These are the two new Leviton short slide switches, uh, model number 6674. They come with their own wall plates, in my case. Uh, these wall plates will not work because I have a dual gang box here. So I need a double plate. In the package you will also find wire mats, eight wire mats. We will need them here. And very important instructions. These two symbols here show that this switch can be used with a single pole light bulb, like just one bulb and one switch, or it can be used as a three-way switch. The red wire on top is the traveler wire. You can identify the wires from here.
there's a red label with one of the wires and it reads that this is a traveler wire if you are wiring a single pole switch then you don't need this wire it's good to cover this unused wire with a wire nut but we will be using this wire in this situation green wire for ground red wire will go to load this is the traveler wire we will use that and black wire is our light as a precaution i will always connect the ground wire first take this off twist it a bit make a little loop this has to be connected to the ground screw within this metal box Wrap around the existing aluminum wire and put a wire nut. This black wire is connected to the red here. We don't need that long, we just need about 5 eighths of an inch. Cut off the extra wire. Wrap the new wire around the existing aluminum wire and use a wire nut. This is the traveler wire that is connected with the white wire. Usually the white wire is neutral, but not in this case. And straighten it a bit and cut off the excessive aluminum wire. About 5 8 of an inch is sufficient. So again wrap around the existing aluminum wire and use a wire nut to connect them. So wiring is done, it's time to test the new dimmer switch. Slide it to maximum and make sure it is off. This will be off position. I will go now and turn on the power from the circuit breaker. I have turned on the circuit breaker from downstairs and let's see the status of power. So here, the power is coming. Let's uh, test this before we put this back into the box. So power is on. You can see that and getting dim. Let me turn this off. Let me turn the other off, on, and let's see the dimmer function. I'll show you from there. I'll now go down and check the three-way function from this switch. Off. So once this is done, we will insert the switch into the box. But this has to be removed first. This single wall plate cannot be used when we have a two-gang metal box here. We have to use the old wall plate. I'll remove the wall plate with these screws. I can use it somewhere else. Save the plate and save the two screws. This switch is done. Next, I will replace the other switch which controls the lights in the hallway and then get back to it. Both of them are installed now. We will turn on the power from the circuit breaker. If everything is working fine, then I will wrap some tape around the wire nuts and then insert these two back into the box. Off. I will have to test from the other side also because this is also a three-way switch. Off. On. So the wiring is correct. The installation is correct. I will turn off the power from the circuit breaker, wrap some tape around the wire nuts before uh, these switches go into the box. This black electrical tape, I have uh, already paid six or seven pieces, about two and a half inches long. Half of the tape goes onto the wire and half of it goes onto the wire nut. Just push the wires inside the box and replace the screws. I will not 
tighten them fully as yet. I have to check that the cover plate fits well. I might have to adjust them vertically. I will keep them loose for now. For the second switch also push the wires inside the box. In my next video, I will cover the programming of this switch. Time to check if the plate fits or does it fit. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video is informative. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to my channel.